So uh, we tested out our vagina by going to Split Rock, and now we're we're going to see if we're ready for the walking portion of our crawl, walk, run theory of survival. Um, I have about 40 pounds strapped to my ass. How much do you think you got? Mm, probably almost that. Everybody remembers Mike. Not to be confused with Steve or Again. Mr. Anderson. Yeah, we're gonna go out on fucking Pine Pond Trail. 13 miles, I believe, total, so maybe six and a half a day. I still think it's 13.4 the whole way because I've done this before and it sure fucking felt like 13. And that was me and two well, other military guys doing it. It's a 1,400 mile elevation change. 1,400 so. mile my Or 1,400 ass. feet. 1,400 feet. We're never coming back. Yeah. 1,400 feet elevation change. We'll be in fucking... I basically, I brought everything I could think of that I would want out there. And whatever I don't use on this trip is going to get cut for the next one. So that's the theory. This is to vet my shit, put shit to a test, using the backpacking tent on this one. The ultimate fucking challenge for this trip is to drink water from a lake somewhere in them fucking woods back there. There's water that we have to drink to yeah, see if if we're going to get botulism or black plague or some bear's asshole is going to be all over our fucking water and we're, we black might, would be a yeah, blessing for me, right? something like that. Fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing this the, this fucked up hat like because of bugs and shit. So, are we ready to get? Yeah, we ever? We got all our water. We're each yeah. carrying enough water just in case we fail it at water like we did at fire and shit. So, and I don't think we can fail it. Boiling. And I I think there's enough pine here, being at Pine Pond, which I didn't make that connection earlier, that we will fucking be able to make fire no matter what happens. I hope. As long as we can if anything, fire. though, what what did you tell me earlier about your fire skills? <laughs> My fire skills are uh, awesome. Yes, he's On master board. firesman. See, he master he said fire. he was talking shit the whole way. I here. was, and it's totally gonna so fail. So if we don't master fire, you know, he he should be the he's like the fire like you Zen can blame master, me. like the kung fu guy that yeah. kicks everyone's yeah. ass. And we're just we already know how we are novices. <laughs> yes. We, we, t we talked a big game running up, but then we spent three hours creating fire. So Mike should have it up in about five minutes, right? Big roaring fire in five minutes. All right guys, I think it's time for a break. Yeah, <laughs> fucking I'm breathing heavy and shit already. <laughs> How's your pack feeling? Heavy. Yeah, mine's very too. heavy, heavier than I thought it would be. Yeah, I, I probably should have got a gym membership for attempting this. In, in, in true fashion, <laughs> Mr. Anderson oh, okay. has Mr. set the yeah. pace <laughs> Don't in the wrong that. fucking direction. So we ended up, we ended up at the end of this trail, which ends rather abruptly just before. Mordor. That way. So how are you feeling? Awesome. Now awesome. it packs off. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a good. Thank you straps. for giving us this break. You're yeah. welcome. With with your navigation. I just skills. I know you wanted to stop. Because if we were on the other trail, we'd still be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there eventually. We got all day. I'm in no hurry to go home. Oh, I'm not in a hurry either. Mike? Can you call yeah. in? <laughs> if I can if you get a, a signal. signal. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh so far so good. Definitely feeling the burn on my pack. Snake hole or something. Um, we, we cut down this for a walking stick over here that I've been using, and it is awesome. And it will be fully bare by the time I'm done. And I might keep it for future hikes because that's how awesome it is. I might get my get like that lacquer shit put on it or something. But uh, just to show you how how fucked we are, <laughs> let's look at the map of happiness. 
Fork. Well, it after looked the like it. The fork. Fork. You it looked on this like shit. it. It's not all Mr. Anderson's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you, you see that little line right there that goes down? That's us. This is the little swampy area. We have to turn around and go back. So we just added maybe an eighth of a mile to our, our deal. Oh, no. So not an eighth of yeah, a mile. That might be the eighth of the mile that breaks me. <laughs> you mean halfway around a fucking running track? Something. Not even one yes. full round? Carrying that thing? Fuck yeah. And For all this beauteous nature? Yes, it is beauteous nature. I'm trying to stall so I don't have to put my pack back on because I noticed he's setting the pace. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let Mike smoke. For Oh wait, you already smoked? Or you didn't smoke? No, I'm good. Uh. He's like, no, I can barely breathe. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I'm barely <laughs> smoking. All right, I'll smoke. <laughs> All right. This would not be a water source. It could be. It's running. I hear running over there. Well, it's all running. Look at it. It's but all moving a little bit. It's all moving. It's all moving? It's in like a little estuary spot. Uh, it looks very nasty. I mean, just the stuff in it don't make it nasty. What yeah. do you expect? Like potable drinking water in the middle of the woods? Yeah. There's yeah. Good yeah. <laughs> water looks pretty nice. I might just have a sip. You, you, you want to start the first... <laughs> what they, they gotta have one of those, what do you call them, like in a science thing when... Uh, Who's going first? When you gotta have a test subject that does, like a placebo. I, I, I'm gonna drink the water and unknowingly not get the purified water just to see if it really works. Ah. That's the real plan. That's why you guys fucking got me out here. Yeah, you're a test subject. I'm here to document what happens to you after you drink it. Tuskegee all over again. Yeah, see how that works? Shortly, he's still got half a cigarette though. This is one time when smoking is benefiting me. <laughs> smoking may have saved your life? Yes, smoking has saved me a little bit of pain and suffering. <laughs> it hasn't saved you, it's just delayed it. Delayed it? Well, sometimes just a little break is all little you break. need. Yeah. It's true. It is fucking beautiful here though, look yeah. at that. Yeah. Can't wait to get the drone up. Assuming the weather... And the weather has been cooperative. It's a nice temperature. Not a lot of fucking bugs wait. bugging me. Wait, are you saying Mother Nature has just spread her legs Yes, for us? Mother Nature has, is spreading her legs wide and saying, do what you will with me. <laughs> and shit. So, that's the trail update. I'm not filming the whole walk because how many times you guys need to see us walking through the woods? Remember earlier when I was talking shit, saying Mother Nature was spreading for us? Mother Nature just yet done bending us the fuck over in the most humbling way. It was pouring rain for the last mile or so. It's still kind of off and on. I think mostly it's run off from trees. But uh, I'll never talk shit again. Yeah, I'm done talking shit. Y'all, you might want to unsubscribe because the, the talking shit has come to an end. Maybe. Could be. And shit. We're about 2.7 miles in. Mr. Anderson is setting the pace as usual. It's all right, Mike, Mike keeps looking back to make sure I'm not dead though, so there's that. But uh, encountered some mountain bikers, nothing special. But we're just pressing on and hope, hopefully, other than my jeans, I'll be dry everywhere else. And hopefully I kept my sleeping my sleeping bags mounted externally on my pack. And if that gets wet, it's gonna be a long night. I might be naked and afraid by the fire. Oops. Been walking in the fucking rain a while. It finally stopped, just as I feel like we're getting closer and closer. This is a potential water source too. That we get to uh, sample at some point. So how are you feeling so far? Peachy. You are soaked to the bone, <laughs> aren't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's wet. Yeah. Mother Nature fucked us. Yes. How's your morale? Super high. Super high. How's your morale? I'm feeling a lot of pain. But, thanks to, and you guys gave me a lot of shit, but thanks to me bringing this, I'm not soaking wet. Because... <laughs> You see how soaking wet he is right now? That's not me. Because you guys were giving me shit. That every survivalist should have a fucking umbrella. 
and shit. I think that was the comment. Yeah, it's something, it's something like that. Or something about my vagina. But you know what? My vagina was drier now because I had this. Because I'm using my rain gear to protect my pack so I don't have to sleep in wet shit. And put on wet shit. And just be wet shit all night and shit. On the other side? Yeah. Probably a bear cave. There totally could be. That's totally where a bear would be. Yeah, we should totally camp right next to the bear cave. I'm down. <laughs> who's, who's got first watch? That'd be you. You got the gun. Oh. And you got second watch. I only have a dagger. He's going to laugh at me while he fucking rattles me around like Leonardo DiCaprio. And I don't think I would live like he did. Yeah. I don't think I would either. Do. I don't think my thin ass little t-shirt is going to protect me from them bear claws. Yeah. And the way my luck's going, a bear is going to come out of the woods, take me, and, in, and just go that way. As long as it me. happens while the camera's rolling. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? Got it, I, I just, you know, I'll just be taking one for the team, but I'm pretty sure that would skyrocket me to a million subscribers. I think we're about a mile from the end of this day's hike where we can start the fun work of setting up camp, building a fucking fire. We all know how that goes. And then uh, hopefully relaxing after that. I'm gonna carve the rest of my staff of happiness and shit. This point, we decided to, because my vagina was really starting to hurt, we found this campsite that somebody left for us right on the banks of this river. It's really kind of a perfect area because you've got your water and your fire and your pine and all that. But we decided to uh, take a break. They are eating. I am still trying to hold to my fasting while on the trail challenge. Which I think I'm going to succeed with today. Tomorrow's going to be the question. If I wake up feeling like a bag of dog shit, I'll just eat what I brought. And all I brought was nuts. Dude, I'm a professional faster. I can watch you eat like a full pizza right now and not be faced. Is there something we could it's, eat it's a that matter you want? Of, it's a matter if I get like hungry, you know, yeah, which doing this level of physical activity could, no, I'm not hungry at all yet. No, if you got the munchies. It's not that kind of hunger really when you're, once you're fat adapted, it's, you, you get the, oh, I could eat something every once in a while, but you don't get that food obsession. No. Yeah. Or you're like, all you can think about is when you're going to eat type shit. That don't happen. But what happens is, tomorrow when I get up, I'll be fine today, I already know that. Tomorrow when I get up, I might have zero energy, like I'll be like, then I know I probably should eat. Um, Cause that means I don't have access to enough of this to get the job done. So, yeah. At least uh, that's the theory. I got access uh, to plenty of this. Yeah, but you're not fat adapted. You have to be fat adapted to get full access. Yeah. Um, what's likely to happen with you, if you don't eat, you can hit a wall to where you're just, bam, you're done. You, can, you can't fucking do no more. Um, when you're fat adapted, as long as you're not doing like heavy, high intensity shit, you can keep going and going and going and going until you run out of this. That's cool. And I'm low on this because my arms and legs are, there's not, no fat on them. It's all right here. So the problem is, is some muscles, the ones, you know, on your legs and arms, try and use the fat around them for energy instead of this. So when you don't have a lot of that going on, then you'll feel like you're just dragging ass the whole time. Yeah. So, and, but then I ate like one small meal and some fat, and I was back, I was 100%, I did another hike, so. But, yeah. 
if my body tells me I need to eat, it, you know, it's, that's the, it's dumb to ignore, especially out here. So. We made it and shit. Let's see what our stats are. Three hours, 48 minutes, 7.1 miles, thanks to us getting lost part way. So I think we're gonna be pretty close to 14 miles when we're done. You going barefoot? Yeah, I'm gonna walk down there barefoot. Let's see how it goes. Like, like a fucking hobbit and shit. Yeah. You any blisters? Not yet. All right. So yeah, they've gone down to the beach. I'm still resting, just enjoying not carrying that pack anymore. So seven miles, I think, is my fucking limit. But it's a matter of all my muscle groups are sore right now in ways I can't describe. They've just disappeared in the fucking woods. I don't know where they went. What if they don't come back? What if the bears get them? What if I'm now alone in the fucking wilderness and shit? In the lake... It's quite beautiful with a nice mountain in the background. We are not under the canopy though. So if it... Nature and shit. I'm considering just putting my tent in the tree line somewhere. But I don't know. I'm thinking... There might be widow makers in there. That's that's them trees that are gonna get blown over if it gets windy. But then again, it could happen here too. Where was the beach at? We're gonna keep collecting firewood and we're gonna get it going. Uh, keep down this path. You can't miss it, dude. Just keep straight, going down. This path goes straight to the beach. I gotta yeah, you look much. at it. Yeah, you'll see it. Pretty nice, you could totally go in there. It's probably one of the most secluded beaches I've ever been at. You could totally free ball it here, not worry about going to jail. Water looks way clear. I would be happy to drink that shit. So I think I'm I think we're happy. Of course I might have might have just lost the trail get back to camp I think how did I this is the beginning of, of failure because <laughs> I really thought it was just one trail and there's like five hello all right I hear you um, so, uh, yeah, there's that. I think we broke that rule. Unless it just means no camping by that particular tree. You can camp any other area, but just not there. So within five feet of that sign, it's illegal and shit. But where we are, legal. We're camping. Just fucking deal with it. I'm not walking that shit all the way back out without some camping. So after much failure, we have finally been rewarded with an easy night. Like it literally took us what? How long do you think it took us? A couple minutes. Not long. Like less than a half hour to get this fire going. And like there's just so much wood and shit. That's badass. We're getting our Mike's finishing up setting his tent up. Body bags ready to go. A little mini itty bitty tent. Mike got the fire. 
Mike yes, got the this fire was going Mike. With a big that, Mecca, Bic method. Yes, Mike literally just lit some shit on fire with a Bic. We, there were no cards, no cedar candles, no fucking butane fuel or blow torches. It was just Mike, a Bic, and a dream. And he then danced around the fire in his underwear afterwards. Is, is what you're supposed to do to pray to the fire gods is to dance around the fire in your underwear because all your shit's wet. <laughs> I turned my walking stick into a hanger to dry my raincoat and my hat, which were both soaked. So the walking stick was a good idea. We got a nice fucking log to sit on, which I might turn into a chair later. That was some loud dog barking shit. Are there wolves here? Yeah. That's a wolf? No, that's a dog, but they're wolves. You'll hear them at night. Dog's probably hollering at some animal. Huh. Or is that a person? Maybe it is a wolf, I don't know. No, it's a kid. Howling like a wolf? Yeah. I just heard kids screaming. Well, yeah, I heard that. Too. Well, you heard a wolf howling and kids screaming. Kid Doesn't screaming, necessarily yeah. mean there's no wolf. Yeah. You know, there's people that pay, like, hundreds of dollars for a site like this. And all we had to do was carry heavy shit for quite a few hours. Right? That's yeah. all we had to do? Yeah, we get to go swimming on the beach. Yeah. There was no other way. There was no, <laughs> no other, other way. way to get here. <laughs> there was no nearby parking lots or anything. It could be one within a mile or so. Yeah, it's, it failed to mention that. But you know what? I think I wouldn't trade the what we did today for that. No, you'd have missed the river. You'd have missed, you know, we'd have the cool the stones rain, we were walking on. <laughs> yeah, get rain, lost potential for poison yeah. ivy, and and we would have missed Mike just saying "fuck this shit" and just fucking barreling through the woods. Like like I can't take it anymore. DJ it's got to be here. Was not chill for a minute. <laughs> yeah, motivated. he he left us behind. First he was all out ahead, but he's we're like, "We're almost there. It's time to go." <laughs> when are we doing the challenge? This is your thing, man. We're just here for the ride. When do you want to work on the water thing? Let's do it right now. We got fire. We got water. Let's boil some water. Yeah. I'm gonna get dysentery and shit in that order. I have been ordered to burn to boil water as the first part of the water. I'm thirsty, Challenge. Scott. Come on. Thirsty and shit. My solution for boiling water is we're going to use the grates that were left for us. Throw one of them motherfuckers on there somewhere. Then put those two pots. Well, maybe one pot. I'm going to filter through. Oh my God, sorry. I brought a coffee filter <laughs> that I'm going to use in lieu of using. I hope that was on fucking audio too. <laughs> in lieu of <laughs> using. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, in lieu of using kind of cloth to yeah. filter, I'm just going to use the coffee filter. If you packed it in, it's not cheating, right? So, and plus I'm going to have coffee later. Maybe I'll turn this into coffee after I drink it. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. The whole object is to not end up sitting on the bowl, having Giardia, or E. coli, or... Innuendos. Or all not kinds of... The bowl. Yeah, I don't want to sit on a fucking bowl. <laughs> Let's, you know... Or be in the hospital with a parasite that's eating my brain or something. I think that's a thing. Heard about it in Georgia or something. This isn't Georgia though. This is New York. We got our own. That That's really happening too. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Swimming. He's going swimming. Let's go swimming. I am, I am not going swimming. We definitely, I think, if we get the energy, dude, we should definitely get a big stick caught half on fire. Come down here and get, have it set up already and just let's start have another fire. fire. Well, we can kind of pre set up a fire down here now. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. We got all our shit and the uh, shit there, and we are nearby a parking lot. Not that so, but we've only seen one other group of people and a couple of bicyclists, and it's getting dark, so maybe they all went home. There's not a lot of partiers out here. 
some shit. But with the chemical... So this is our alleged water source, which is a pond. I mean, that looks like tap water, bro. I know. So you think we should just not filter it and deal? Dude, honestly, what are you filtering out? I don't like, know. take a look. That is clean water. That is. That, that is. Like, I'd almost drink it if I didn't. Know. <laughs> if I didn't. Yeah, if you didn't know, would you, you drink that? That's well, if we're not going to filter, we might as well get two of them. <laughs> All right. Hey, look. My battery died, so I had to return to camp. They're still down fucking with the fire at the water. I'm not going in the water. It's not for me. I am perfectly content to be dry and happy. One last swig before that fateful moment. I brought one of the pots up that we're going to boil. But I'm, I'm really thinking, why? Why should I do this? I am kind of nervous about drinking water from nature, which is weird. I should be more nervous about drinking the water that's in the bottle. It's smart water and shit. This is smart water. This is dumb water. <laughs> or not so smart water. Or intellectually challenged fucking water. Also, I am still fasted and I am not hungry. I am definitely sore though. So there's that. But overall, this was worth it. Yeah, you know. Sometimes you question yourself when you're busting your ass on these trails. And then you realize, worth it. This is the naked and afraid section of the the park. <laughs> Where we're just out here in our underwear fucking building fires. You're not out here in your underwear. Absolutely not. I'm the camera guy for naked and afraid. Does that make you the one who's afraid? Something. Wow, that's like some advanced bushcraft right? going on there. It's gonna go up. It's got a floor. Out. It's all super dry too. Yeah. No, sir, we're not camping on the beach. How's the water? Awesome. Not my thing right now. Maybe like if it was warmer, but it's like it's hoodie weather. So it is fucking quiet as shit here. Oh my god. Survivor Naked Edition. <laughs> Don't make me move too fast. Don't make me use this pick. On strong wind and I'm fucked. I will carry fire to the fucking eternal flame and shit. <laughs> Didn't work. Watch that brought me back. Ah. Uh, no? I had fire right till about five feet ago. Yeah, I get another one. Fail. I got, I got a cedar candle and light it. I'm gonna start like boiling. So we are boiling water from the lake to drink. I guess the rule is rolling boil for 45 minutes. I sound sure of myself. So I guess I'll hang out here while they go to the thing and burn shit and shit. Ugh. I'm thinking if you put it on the edge of the, the edge of the lake, like kind of in the sand, the current and stuff, bringing in and out heat. Yeah, I don't you know. You know what I mean? From around it. It's not gonna stay hot for long. Probably I like don't know. 20 minutes. You think? Yeah. Like think about it when you leave coffee out. How long does that take? 
All right, so the game plan, I, I put a bigger log underneath these four logs to hold it up. And the off chance that those four logs don't make it through the 45 minute boiling process. We have one rolling boil going, but the other one's not boiling yet. So we just gotta keep, take note of which boiled first. But uh, it seems to be working as far as the actual cooking parse process. And a decent fire going too. Got all the billions of parasites and gangrene and shit dying. Horrible fucking scalding death. <laughs> so that we can survive. Because if we don't boil this water, we, die. we fucking die and shit. <laughs> so that is our water. It boiled. We decided on roughly 15 minutes. But we literally boiled almost half of each cup off in the process. If that didn't kill something, I don't know what does. It's got a little bit of ash floating in it, but it's sterilized ash. Quite a feat to get it off of the grate because they were both piping hot. Like, I think one of them was starting to change colors, which I'm hoping isn't in the water. The color changes. But I'm going to take this down to the beach and then we're going to get to to getting diseased. So this is the fire that Mike and Steve built. Uh, this one was but mostly, mostly Steve. Steve. Like 99% yeah. Steve. Teamwork. That's fucking teamwork. Although you did use my original fire. I did. So technically, but it went out before I got down here. So all I'll use is a charred stick from it. There so we are cooling our drinking dysentery water. Or as I like to cut to call the the potion of sharding, because <laughs> oh, I look like a wizard. But that's our beach bonfire. That that's classifiable as a bonfire. Fuck yeah! Yeah. Hell yeah! It's almost as tall as Mike. Dude, it is. Yes. Good, Not dude. the flame. I mean the wood pile. It's bonfire. Yeah. So it's it's good shit. Good shit. We were just saying before I turned the camera on how we don't want to leave. No, no like, we don't. I'm going to be dragging ass picking up to go, go tomorrow because I don't really want to go. Like Ooh. I could stay here for four it's days. A warm. Okay. A little longer than I was thinking it was. That's what she said. Alrighty. We are now going to try and transfer the water because it is cool enough into a water bottle for our consumption and shit. <sighs> this is the part where it could all go wrong. Requires precision. That's where I get hit in the back of the head with a log. Now I'm not gonna pour all of it in because there is a couple little Yeah, if you can avoid, floaties, the, floaties. avoid the floaties. Does it feel warm on the bottom? No, I mean, I'm not really touching enough of the bottle or the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to bag the. Uh, there's some weird coating on the outside now of these. It's so, but I still think that these probably weren't maybe the best. To yeah. Water in. I think these so Walmart the Walmart coffee cups for six bucks are a fail. But the percolator though. The percolator's pretty cheap. It'll probably do the same shit. I don't know. We get a good one. I'm telling you. And the the top has a plastic thingy, so we couldn't put it in the fire with the top. Your percolator has a piece of plastic on it? Yeah, the percolate part is plastic. Oh, shit. Man. Yeah. It's so warm, got, but it's not hot. We got half a bottle of water. Doesn't smell bad, no floaties. You gonna take the first swig? Alrighty. It tastes like assholes. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Dude, don't catch fire. <laughs> that was shit. Nuts. You're gonna catch fire too. Alright. It's alright, at this point it's an improvement in my situation. <coughs> Should one of us not drink it? <laughs> no, because the stuff takes two days. Almost sure, everything it can takes be me. Days, you know? <laughs> he waits till we already drink it. <clears throat> I'd like to be the test subject. <clears throat> just to make sure we didn't get infected with something in the environment. Did it taste like shit? No, I mean, a little bit salty. <clears throat> but that could Maybe. be the coating on the pan, though. It smells like a fish's asshole. <laughs> Dude, I took seconds, so I don't want to hear it. I got toilet paper and an e-tool. We'll be good. 
This was a bad life choice. <laughs> if if we could, if there was any way we could fast forward it, like in his video, oh. in the bathroom going like, oh! <laughs> like, all right, that's not, that's not. Like it doesn't taste bad, but it smells it. bad. It definitely smells like dead rotting fish, you know, or a really bad vagina or something. God, I hope we didn't need to boil it for forty-five minutes. <laughs> I mean, here I took two swigs, so we're late. all dying together. But, Are you gonna finish it? Uh, do you want to finish it? I mean, we. I think we should finish yeah, it. Yeah, let's finish it. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I don't want to finish it. This, this we're, is gonna our go, we're gonna die. This is our bourbon for we the still, evening. We still gotta do the motherfucking Sawyer. You can finish it. I think I'm good. I have two <laughs> swigs. Just, I'm the only one that's bothered to smell it, and that's probably why smell I'm it. dissuaded. But I'm a smoker. You smell it? It smells fishy. I'm a smoker though, I can't smell really good, so. It has a lake. Yes. Flavor. Almost like it came out of the lake but 25 minutes ago. It's not, it's not ago. like bad, it's. I mean, like it's got flavor to like it, honestly. Water. Yeah. More like what you would expect. Like well, I'm water. sure there's minerals and shit. Maybe I'll do one more. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking the, about. The health nut in me at war with the, the OCD me. The rebel. It's gotta be even numbers, so if we do it again, he's gonna do it again, unless he drinks it all right now. <laughs> Survival and shit. I'd be willing to do the iodine tablets with that water. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on, I don't need to do the iodine tablets, I think I'm good with boiling shit. Yeah. If you didn't catch earlier, the iodine tablets are not very effective. Not effective at all for the most deadly thing you could find in the water. The crypto... What is it, Scott? I don't know. Crypto something. Crypto you're gonna, something. You're going to be on... I feel like you're going to be on fire. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> yes. It's a parasite. This is burning it's fucking man. bad. It's fatal. It will kill you. Iodine tablets don't yes. fuck with that. So we're, now they do chlorine tablets. The most no notorious chemical. one up here is Giardia, which I believe is from animal... <laughs> Extra minute. Oh my god, that so was I'm cold. dying cold already. Three for him. I think all <laughs> I'm three already are dying. <laughs> no, but I think all three are from. They said they said uh, that all the, the two parasites and the and the E. coli all come from animal feces. It, most of the water runoff uh, contaminants you're gonna find anywhere There's are a certain, feces. Are anybody else detecting a, a certain amount of grittiness? Yeah, like in uh, your mouth, like salt. Right. Don't really get gritty. Is it salt water? No, it's not salt water because it'd be really fucking salty after we yes. boiled it. We'd have boiled water out and it'd be saltier. It's definitely a it's gritty... Water. <laughs> the fact that there's a foam forming right there ah. doesn't, doesn't give me a lot of hope for yes. this water. I went out and got it though. Yeah, Yeah, but that would... doesn't make any less chemical-y. I mean, is there is this like a dump site for like fucking Bayer? <laughs> Where are they? I don't know. Up Mount Marcy over there? I guess. There's a parking lot a mile away. Maybe somebody just parks there and dumps all their toxic Such chemicals. Dick, <laughs> man. You know you enjoyed walking in. You both enjoyed walking in. No matter how hard it was, you accomplished something. Today. Hey, if it you're gonna hard, be man. if you're gonna be friends with me, you gotta be comfortable getting your balls busted. Oh yeah, really. no, bust my balls. Dude. Jesus Christ. I'm just throwing. I'm good. I, I'm I'm good. I gotta drive later. I'm already driving. Like, in three this. days. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford to have dysentery yes. on Tuesday. I can't, I got, I I can't have blowouts while I'm driving the Uber and shit. Got a hot date on Tuesday. Dysentery wouldn't go over well. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are just passing back and forth like it's a fucking alcohol sure. bottle. <laughs> it's sure. like... Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Christ. The survival. So they're going to outlast me from when we run out of water by two days. Maybe. But, that, but di yeah. diarrhea will... Yeah, that'll... Um, dehydrate yeah. is pretty bad. I'm getting more flavor at the bottom yes I, don't know if that's I feel like it's settled and i'll means... drink the rest of the half now and then leave you for the <laughs> yeah the very end. all right so he'll get sick first and that'll be a good indicator that we need to go to the er <laughs> no i didn't say i'd finish it all i said i'd drink the top half of this and then give him the bottom uh, i was gonna say you, you guys are my canaries in the coal mine since i drank the least of it and uh, when, when, I, when no, he I'm starts, good. we just need yeah, to be very, we need to be very it. vocal. Wait, if you start feeling like you're gonna shirt, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll give you time. I'll yeah. give him, as you hear the yes. e tool clanging around. <laughs> yeah, the camera. I'll be like it's shirt time. You know, call out if you feel like it's it's not going well. <laughs> I probably should have held off on some of the water for fucking, or um, not like pounded all this. Yeah, it's for definitely, the, the, the filter we're about to run I'm through. I'm hoping the filter. 
filters it more. Like, where it's not gritty and doesn't have that. We probably shouldn't use that bottle for the filtered. It's in your, the water's in your mouth, bro. No, I'm just saying for, for I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just We're, saying yeah. for. If we all separated it and like you did one and I did one and he did one for but, consistency for uh but now we're not going to know what worked because we all did yeah because we're all doing all of them so. well no my one plan of you... is is we're going to do the filter tomorrow oh so that if we got fucked up from that we know what fucked us up yeah. okay and that's then, probably a smart and thing. tomorrow if we wake up and we didn't sh shit ourselves to death in our tent here's hoping <laughs> you know then we can uh then we could try the the Sawyer before we we head out on the trail, and then if we sharp or or die <laughs> before we get back to the truck, then we know the Sawyer didn't work. So now we're just gonna chill, and uh, I'm a, he brought toilet paper. Right? <laughs> we got toilet I brought paper. Toilet paper. Okay, wait, everybody. I didn't he bring toilet baby paper. Wipes. We all plan on toilet paper. I yeah. got toilet paper and paper. Oh, wipes. okay. I have to get it clean and then dry it. And Steve has an e-tool. Yes, I do. Which is apparently like a great toilet seat if you don't impale your asshole with it while you were using it. Which Mike already almost did. And then, yeah. Not so you, you might not want to sharpen that, by the way. It's not. <laughs> like, I can picture it going horribly it wrong. Spin it out the other way. Yeah. Sure. All right. I'll teach a block of instruction. Later. Yes, we'll have, a, we'll have an e-tool moment. Oh man, I can't believe we just drank that. That's probably the most fucked up thing I've ever done. That's probably the most <laughs> fucked up shit you put in your body in two yeah. years. Because I've I was always I drink fucking bottled water because I'm afraid of the fucking tap water. And now I'm fucking drinking <laughs> sudsy water. fucking right mystery and kind water. Of in there. Yeah. Yeah. You're drinking. Well, I drank like ball, ball water. Juice. That's why it was salty and shit. There was <laughs> ball water. Ball juice and well, yeah. there? But we boiled out all their shit. Off of their fucking crusty assholes that but were in the water. The hair out. But I don't know. Yeah, there was no hair air felt or hair filtering. He's gonna shit. feel one between his teeth from his mustache. Later. There's something gritty. Like, the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Bottom line is only do this if you have to. I think that's the uh, moral of the story. No, bring I'm bring lots of it. water. If you're gonna do multi-day hikes, have towns like in between. To resupply because I've still taste it in my fucking mouth Steve's ball sweat Mike's hair <laughs> we will catch it at the wrong spot You are not a ninja. I'm, dead. I'm not a ninja. Let's <laughs> see if I can get it a little more on fire. More fire. Because second degree burns just don't cut it. You gotta get them third degree fucking scar for life burns where it peels your skin off. Oh, you totally just fucking caught it on the wrong end. Yeah, I did. That was a fail. How's no, your hand? Right. You alright? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Right. I knew it was coming, so I moved my hand. No, uh, but you got a full <laughs> hand. <laughs> it of touched holes. it, yes. Did you burn yourself? No. no. By the <laughs> way, disclaimer. No, so let's do it again. Yeah. Disclaimer don't do this shit ever. Even if you're. No, I can't get around twice. Let's get some real fire on it. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> one burn isn't enough. Good so far. Till it lands on your shirt. I hope you know how to treat burns. Although the coals are moving. And that was twice, wasn't that it? That was twice. That was a victory. So now you go, what are you going for three or? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> Not drunk enough for that. It should be noted we brought no alcohol. So this is what you do after all the work is done. You set yourself on fire on the beach after drinking dysentery water. Check, check. Yeah, we're good. Now now we have to go for the, the late night walk through the woods in the dark where you might get lost or eaten by a bear or a cougar or we're whatever the fuck. study some botany though. You're studying, studying botany. Yeah, we're going to make sure. Yes, botany sure is important. You must know 
all of your plants. I myself will not be studying botany. Although I might catch fire if I keep sitting here, but it's just so comfortable. Like, I'm on fire! Yeah, every time I throw uh, something in the I'm, fire. I'm sitting in this tree root, like, that looks like a throne almost. And there's a hot coal, like, almost on my ass. Okay, it went out, so I'm not on fire. But yeah. This is the life. It really is, you know. This isn't that. Wouldn't you say this is like a whole nother world? Uh, I like, would. Like a whole nother life you get to live temporarily. It definitely feels like I am not in the world I was in yeah. when I started it's, out it's today. It's like another mini life that you get to live. I haven't thought about half of my problems. I know. Not. They're gone. That's I, why we don't want to leave. Yeah, that's why I really don't want to leave. Yeah. I will totally do. Man. I would totally do another night. Just saying. I got enough calories. I don't know if I got enough calories. We'll see. Well, then you can learn how to fast. And then I can learn how to fast. Or take a trek back. No pack or anything. Grab my fishing pole. Ah. Uh, that I should have brought. I'm sorry, Mike. No, it's okay, man. And catch fish and eat fish. That would be a whole other episode on itself. So I got up this morning. Once again, I was the first one to get up. Just saying. As much as I laid in my tent hoping that someone else would start a fire before me. But I did make fire. It took me about an hour. And it was just using the coals that were left over. I didn't. I did bring the index cards out just in case, but uh, managed to not have to use them. Made some cowboy fucking coffee. And basically, all that is is when you pour coffee grounds into there and then fill it with water, and throw it on the fire till it boils, and then you take it out of the fire and let it settle and then drink but don't drink all the way to the bottom because that's where the grounds settle turns out it works that's going to be my future coffee solution last night we had fucking wolves all night howling on the other side i assume i hope it was the other side of that lake but since we're all still alive and i don't see liam neeson around we probably uh we're safe they probably couldn't figure out how to go around the lake and kill us. The water situation so far, only one of us has had shit. Like a beast. He had to go twice. Apparently the lake water is safe enough. E2 will work perfectly, by the way. What's that? The E2 will work perfectly, by the way. Yeah, he used the E tool to sit on. And he didn't impale his asshole. Best hiking tool. Foldable shovel. That looks too heavy for me. It's not very heavy. I'm gonna finish that as the last bottled water I will be drinking. I'll drink that before we leave, and we're gonna fill that with the Sawyer Mini, and that will be what I'm fucking hydrating with the rest of the day. But for now, before we go, I'm gonna put a drone up in the air and take a look around. Maybe find that fucking wolf that was pissing me off and piss him off for a little bit.
Just drank the last of my water and we still haven't left camp yet. So now it's time to survive and shit. I'm gonna use my Sawyer mini water system to refill this. And hopefully my asshole doesn't completely blow out of my shorts while we're walking. But if it does, he's got an e-tool. Yes, I do. And baby wipes. <laughs> and baby wipes. And shit. More shit. Tons of shit. I'm gonna be shitting for days. So I came down here to fill my bag of water. And now I'm reevaluating my life choices. This is some kind of suds and it is all along the beach. We already drank this water, mind you, when we boiled it. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing a dry fast to get out of here. I don't think I wanna drink this water anymore, dude. Why? Come here. Foam? Yeah. It's normal, bro. That's normal? It's normal, man, I swear Tell me how you know that's normal. Explain to scientifically to me why I should drink this fucking chemical water. It's not chemical water, because I see it all the time. It's like surf, but it's bubbles. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks like a bubble bath. We already it looks like somebody drink. went to Bed Bath & Beyond. They're going to filter 99.99% .99 of this shit out, dude. I'm telling you, you're all right. It dude. doesn't filter chemicals. There's no chemicals around here from where, dude? Where is it leaking in from? I don't know, but the fucking mount, suds and cord? shit. No, we're good. Trust your filter, dude. Even the wolf doesn't want to fucking drink the water. Yeah. You'll be fine. I'd have been fine if I didn't see that. Like if it did. Collect the water from over there. There's not as much. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Only you know, this honestly, part dude, of the lake. You is know what it probably is? No joke. It's probably a mixture of fucking tree root sap and shit. I mean, look around. You know what I mean? Shit is in the water. It's not fucking clean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit like that, like, I don't really know, but, like, you're going to get shit in the water just from the sap. I mean, I can't pick up pine cones and throw them in the fire without having to clean my hands off. They're covered in sap. Shit, and I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying shit does get in the water, but it's a nature kind of shit. You know what I mean? Nature kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, nature. That, that like E. coli and fucking yeah, Guardia and like shit like that. Nature kind of shit. Nature right shit. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, but if I die, it's your fault. We'll make it. We'll make it to the truck. Alright. You come see fine. me in the hospital, right? Bring me fucking. Snacks. We gotta get Mike to work first. We'll get Mike to work first, then we'll get Oh, you we to gotta the take him to work before I go to the ER, right? Huh? Yeah. You can't lose his job, man. Shit. Well, you can't lose I mean, his it's job. literally, it's the entire shore. All the way down. Maybe it's the sand. Could be air bubbles popping up. You don't like no fucking air bubbles I ever seen. <laughs> They're collected. It would make you feel better if I make them go away. If we like roll, <laughs> yeah, roll, roll if you go just fucking go over the whole shore, make it all go away. <laughs> we'll see if I can. Here, out the sea, motherfucker. Yeah, that. Oh, now it's all mixed up. Now some frog said, fuck you, too. You kicked the frogs home. Well, bottoms up and shit. Luckily, your filter will filter out particulates. Like my stomach hurts. It's not gonna Just get. Looking That's, at this. That's it. Yeah. Who's no, that cat? Out. This is a bad idea. So this little thing is gonna keep them suds from killing me, supposedly. Maybe it's it's fuck up proof, supposedly. I'm not feeling good about this. Oh come on, you're gonna be fine. I drank all that lake water straight. So did Mike. Mike really drank it straight. Yeah, he's swimming in it, I guess. But. Felt great. How are you feeling this morning, Mike? 
Uh, I'm okay now that I warmed up by the fire. It was yeah. freaking cold last See, time. he's good. You're good. Alright. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> Screw him, wipe any dirty water, push, open push pull valve, on cap, push pull valve. This pulls. She feels kind of quick. Yeah. Quicker than I thought. The fucking water in the bottle has suds. Is she just squeezing it? Yeah. Yeah, that feels fast, dude. I don't know if I'd trust that filter. That's kind of too fast. It's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, motherfucker tells you eight hours for your open heart surgery, you wake up in one. And you're like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, we fixed it real hey, quick. Hey, I'm all for not drinking this water. I, I was sold with <laughs> the suds. I think you're good. I mean, I'm doing everything. If you get sick, you can always sue Walmart. Yeah, but if I die, I don't get any money. I'm gonna go fill it up down there again. Taking a full bottle out? <laughs> you want to fucking do a full bottle of this shit? I don't think... I think you're good, man. You think? Fuck yeah. Commercially bought fucking water filter. A name brand of fucking Sawyer. Come on. It does smell not fishy. I it think you're good, man. It smells alright. smells better than the boiled version. You want to do another? Yeah, I'll All fill right. up a bottle. You want to hook it? I mean, I like that it flows fast, but you didn't instill confidence in me with uh, it's going a little too fast. I don't know if I trust it. Yeah. After, you know, my confidence was already wavering significantly from the motherfucking foam. Alrighty, well, I'll keep filling the bottle and hope we don't die. So, the time has come for me to sample the motherfucking water. Yep. Bottoms up. It smells cleaner than the boiled shit tin. How's it taste? It's not salty like the other shit was. Motherfucker. Dude, this water tastes good. <laughs> See that shit? Hold on. Yeah, it looks like you it looks like actual smart water. Yeah. Let me try that. Yeah, it tastes really good, dude. Really? Yeah. Yes. Mini Sawyer's the way to go, but you know what? See if you can get one that's got like an actual bottle bottle. Like a hard bottle Well the there's Ziploc. you can buy shit off Amazon. That's purified water. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that, that Walmart generic water. So, the water tastes good. I'll give it that. It does have a little bit of a, well, a slight salty aftertaste. Now that I'm sitting here. It means I'm getting more minerals and shit. But yeah, the question is, will I have to dig a hole on the way out to shit in? But... Hopefully the suds are also antibacterial. There you go, antibacterial, antibacterial suds. I like it, dude. Suds. That's all it is. Somebody dropped a little dawn in there, cleaning off some yeah. little birds that had oil in it. But I'm still not feeling entirely good about drinking that. But I did taste better than the boiled version. And we didn't get dysentery overnight, so there's that. But. That's enough water to get me all the way back to the truck. Maybe a little thirsty when I get there where I can drink normal smart water. Moral of the story is, if you gotta survive, you can probably do it with a Sawyer Mini. Boiling the water, I don't know. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks, yes. And they're so small that you can... The hard part is having a container for the dirty water. Now, now I'd like to take some really dirty water and filter it with this, the, the mini and see what it does, like some 
You know like what I mean? Like some of that swampy, no, like I mean, nasty puddle water. shit. I don't know about drinking puddle water. Right after a rain. That'd be a last resort. Through the, uh, if it can't filter puddle uh, puddle water, what the fuck good is it, dude? I don't know. You, we will filter and purify water, but only if it's really fucking clean to start with. It's gotta be. It good. wasn't clean. It had suds. Yeah. It was frogs no, shitting in that, it. Dude. That's Wolf was fucking bag. lifting his leg in it and swimming in it last night. <laughs> also, we're pussies now. Why? Because we didn't fucking drink from a fucking dirty ass fucking pond scum fucking puddle. <laughs> Next time. Or a Next swamp time. water. No, Let's I'm go just find some swamp water. It wouldn't be a bad idea to test like, you know what I mean? Like what it can clean out. Yeah, but I don't want to like, because when you fail that test, <laughs> what happens? Yeah, but if it doesn't, yeah, you're right. But I mean, what's you know going to get in the puddle water right after rain? I, I, you know, there's a point where there's the ethics of the human experiment come into question. <laughs> so, you could do the dirty water experiment. I'm going to bow out of that one. <laughs> I'm always going to look for the cleanest possible water. To Is that a snake? No. Yeah. You won't do the pond water until you have to, right? Yeah, if I'm going to die anyway. Dude, 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 check this out. See this bug? Look, look at its stinger. Three times the length of the body. Remember I was telling you those things that fuck? fucking kill trees? I don't even see a bug. Dude, that black thing right there with the wings. Oh, you that's see the long bug. thing? That's its stinger. It burrows into... Remember the when I was talking about it in the the last overnight video? That you're not supposed to transport wood from one spot to another because of these fucking things. These things will fucking, like, lay eggs in wood. And that's why, like, you'll see those, like, trees that are, like, so dead you could push them over and they crumble. It's yeah. from those motherfuckers. Oh, uh, shit. They put that whole fucking spike. You see how long that shit is? I'm pretty sure that was in my ass last night. Yeah, probably. I got, I'm going to hatch like a batch of them from my ass. I've learned a few things today. The first and foremost is that I brought way too much shit. So I'm going to practice minimalism for the next trip. Secondly, I learned that although I succeeded in the two-day hike, that the hike out sucked, like was painful in ways I can't even describe. It's like my muscle soreness from day one continued to day two. And I'm starting to think that maybe fasting and hiking don't mix well after the first day anyway. So. I think for future hikes, I'll save the fasting for when I'm camping and the hiking for when I'm hiking. Or the f eating, yeah, something. I can't even fucking think. But, we did it. How do you feel, Mike? Tore up. Tore up? Tore up. What Last was? bit, the, the freaking the hill. The rocky hill that would not end. Oh, yeah. See, see this motherfucker over here, he was like, He's like, hey, it's going to be all downhill for the next rest of the thing. You're good. You're, you're good. And, and then we hit the first hill, and I'm like, you're full of shit. He's like, no, this is the last one, I swear. And then, like, ten minutes later, another hill. The best part is at the end, there was this great set of this massive hill, but it was like switchbacks. So you'd get up to it and turn the corner and be like, oh. And then you'd get up to the next corner and you'd be like, oh. This happened four or five times until finally we were up it. Yeah, and they were loving just wait because they were way ahead of me. And they were waiting for me to round the corner and see and start bitching. I would have filmed it, but I honestly, it was taking too much strength as it was. We managed. We are here. We survived. We uh, thrived, I would say, for the most part. And uh, so... Another thing I can tick off my tick box is shit I haven't done before, including drinking strange water, which I used to hydrate the entire way of the trail. Now, granted, I wasn't drinking, like, gulps of it, but I drank some. So if I got dysentery, that's what happened. So, remember, I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. And uh, so if you're going to do this kind of shit, like, learn from smarter people than me. And 
If you found this entertaining or enlightening in any way and would like to see me do more of this shit and sp spend these two days it's going to take to edit this, head to scottstruckdriver.com and leave a tip in the virtual tip jar. I appreciate everybody that helps me keep this channel going and continue to be able to do this kind of stuff too. Also, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the fucking bell and shit and uh, I don't really don't have much else to say I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day I'm going to feast to rebuild the muscles that I destroyed throughout this hike but overall the hike out was worth what our camping and our stay last night and you know sitting there staring in the dark looking for wolves to come out and fucking so we could punch them in the face and you know have survival stories and shit that, none of that happened but there was wolves and they made noise and we cowered in fear because we're manly men and shit next video will be nutritional i promise because you don't want to do shit else for a while yeah i'm gonna totally i might even green screen that shit so i don't have to fucking leave the house because i need to recover i definitely need rest and recovery have a nice motherfucking day and shit. I'm gonna try and have a nice motherfucking day now that we're returning to reality. Because that is like another life in there. And we are now leaving that life behind and going back to our regular, regularly scheduled programming and shit. Bye.